I told y'all we were going to talk about the Memorial Edition Dawn Blaster, but before we talk about that, we got some other things to talk about first. Uh, first off, let's just hit some of the, the smaller things. Um, we got... We're on Premium Bandai, by the way. Um, look at the Oh Dawn Brothers! Oh, they're so... Look at that. They, uh, they're, you know, it's finale and, you know, it's over. But, oh, look at that! Ooh, what's that? Don't we already have that already? Uh, no, we don't, because this is the, um, metallic mini pla of whatever this guy is called. What's his name? Um, Tora Dora Oni Taijin Kiwami. Festival metallic version. So, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. So, all you mini pla collectors out there. This, this looks pretty cool. So I guess they're like they have like metallic paint on them. I guess it seems like. Um, wow, that looks fantastic. Actually, <laughs> that looks great. So it's just all in one big set, um, just so that you can get all of them at the same time, which you know would make sense. Um, just showing some details of it. Hey, look, he's got a throne and a fan. He's gonna be sitting there. Don't any tension is just so good, dude. Um, yeah, looks, looks really nice, and it comes with a bunch of cool stuff, like, look at this, look at this, this looks awesome, it has a Super Sentai logo on it, that's sick, that's really cool, I'm not getting it, but, oh, there's a Noto, that's nice, um, I'm not getting it, but let me know in the comments if you want this, or if you're planning on getting this, um, it is scheduled to be shipped in August, and it is, uh, being sold for 7,700 yen, um, through Premium Bandai. So that's cool. It is a P Bandai exclusive. Um, so yeah, there you go. That's cool. But other news in the mini plot department. Oh, we got King Oger. Oh my gosh. This thing is also very beautiful. Let's take a look at the baby right here. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. Let's see. So we got all of your insects. You got all the shoe gods. Shoe gods don't bother me. You know what I'm saying? Shoe gods don't bother me. <laughs> oh man, they they meant to do that. Um, <laughs> you got all all the the insects there. Look at this, dude. This looks so good. Like this mecha is just really good. It's really really good. I'm so excited to pick up the DX version. Oh my gosh, that's gonna be such a fun time. Make sure you subscribe to the channel because we will have. A toy hunt for that of course that's going to be the premiere of season 7 of toy hunting here on here as a fandom it's gonna be a fun time I guess this is the distribution like I guess this spider comes with Kamakiri come and kick it and then this ladybug gonna come with uh, uh, Tombo so on and so forth so that's cool or you can just get the whole thing you just get the whole set right here it comes with all 10 of the bugs and uh this packaging looks absolutely phenomenal i mean as usual as always you know how japanese box art is so yeah um i believe this is also this is uh, yeah this is on premium bandai as well but i think it might just be a i don't know if he, i don't even know if it's an early release maybe it's an early release of it but this will be sold in like stores and and stuff so like i don't know I don't know. I'm not too sure. I, I'm not going to look too deep into that because I don't collect mini pla yet. We'll see. Well, I don't know. We <laughs> we'll see what happens, right? Um, I, I have yet to collect any mini pla as of now. We'll keep, keep your fingers crossed. I don't know. We'll see. Um, let's move on from mini pla and get into the DX stuff because we do have some DX toys that were revealed finally revealed we've known about these for quite some time but we finally have pictures of these this is the um god the guardian weapon series we got the roll rolling hammer that's how google translate is translating this but um this is basically a pill bug so that's cool um yeah it's pretty cool i'm not gonna lie it looks pretty dope it's like, it's like a hammer mace type of weapon for King Oger. This looks really good. So these, um, this is kind of another class of the insects, the insect 
mech. Um, these are weaponry mech. They're different from the auxiliary mech. So like kind of a little different from like the the stag beetle. Stag beetle? Yeah, the stag. No, the other beetle. The Kabuto beetle. Sorry. I mean, they are different from the stag beetle as well. <laughs> um, yeah, the, these are a little different from like the uh, the Kabuto beetle and the other insects that I'm forgetting what insects they were, whatever. Um, but uh, these are, I guess these are like a little smaller. They are cheaper. So these are going to be 1,650 yen. Um, and they will be released on the same day as the first wave of the rest of the King Oja toys. So it's going to be a lot. It's going to be a lot of stuff on the first day. They're just going to hit the ground running. Um yeah wow it's it's gonna be fun though um we also got a snail we got the snail we got the orange snail the snail gatling <laughs> whoever would have thought that we were gonna have a snail gatling gun just as even just a snail zord or snail mecha in general like that's amazing and it's a gatling gun like that's awesome that is crazy. I am I am all about this. This is this line is like so good. Um uh, but yeah, same details there, release date, all that stuff. Um and then we also got some vinyls. So, you know, not nothing too special here, but we do finally have villain vinyls for the first time in quite some time. I think I mentioned before the last time I remember that we had villains was uh villain vinyls, I should say, was uh Tokyo but I don't even know, like, there's Guy Solg, if you want to count Guy Solg from Rue Soldier. Um, but I don't know if, I don't know if you want to count that. But um, we got the Bugnarok series, Sanagim. Again, this is just how Google Translate is translating these. But these are the Foot Soldiers. I really like the Foot Soldiers in, the sh like, the show. They look fantastic. Well, at least, you know, in the teasers and the trailers and whatnot. They look great. <laughs> absolutely fantastic so um i'm excited to see those to see more of those i should say um just all the villains honestly they they all look really good because we got uh Kam kamijim again don't know if that's correct but um this he, this is kind of like he's kind of like um the helper of the main the big boss the main bad guy so that's interesting there. And then we got the big bad right here. We got Death Narok 8. Death Narok V8. V8. I don't know. Um, he looks awesome. The vinyl. I mean, of course, these are just vinyl. So they're, they're not going to be like fully painted or anything. You know, they're just fairly cheap vinyls. And they're also, keep in mind, the vinyls this year are smaller. They're going to be about Kamen Rider Geet sized um, vinyls. Or like think Ultraman as well, um, but yeah, they still look great. I mean, uh, the especially in the show, they they look really really good. So yeah, excited to see more of the villains there. Okay, now we can talk about it. Now we can talk about Avatar Sentai Don Brothers Don Blaster Memorial Edition. We knew this was happening. Like, this is no surprise to any of us. At least it shouldn't be. They do this every year, all the time. And also, the, this was also, this information was also leaked um, some time ago. So, we, we knew this was coming. We got the Memorial Edition Dawn Blaster. I mean, the Dawn Blaster is already amazing. <laughs> so, having a, a bigger version of this. Oh, my gosh. Oh my gosh. So it's 125% bigger than the DX version. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That looks so good. <laughs> that looks really good. Um there's I don't I don't know what it's saying about this part, but um there are no screw holes. So that's very much appreciated. I like that. Like it looks so much cleaner. Like especially like the screw holes here. Like that it didn't bother me, but they're, they're very noticeable. 
So um, it's nice to see that they don't have them on this side of the glasses part of the of the gun. That's such a weird sentence. The glasses part of the I don't know. Anyways, uh, we got some Avataro gears. I don't know if they're gonna be any different though. I'm gonna have to check the information at the bottom. We'll take take a look at the information at the bottom. Of course, we're gonna get character sounds, even you know, from all five of them, and including Don Dore Goku, even including Jiro. We're gonna be hearing some sounds. Interesting though. I wonder if we're gonna be getting that uh, a memorial edition. Uh, what's it called? Ryu, Ryu, not Ryu, I was about to say Ryu Soulken. That is not Ryu Ryu no Geki, Ryuko no Geki, something like that. His changer. I don't know though, because I feel like that would be pretty hard to. Do, considering it's like a whole staff but i don't know um we're gonna get bgm right we're gonna get the theme song the tv tv version of the theme song um don't don't boo like all like a bunch of cool songs from don like the don brothers soundtrack is like honestly really good so that's awesome to see um and what is this what is this Oh, it comes with a King Oger um, Avataro gear, or Robotar gear, I should say. This did show up in the episode where the uh, the King Oger showed up in Dom Brothers. Um, but it's a pre-order, what is it? It's an early order bonus, an early purchase bonus. That's what they call it, an early purchase bonus. So, if you order the Dawn Blaster, this Memorial Edition Dawn Blaster, on Premium Bandai from the 27th, which was yesterday, actually, February 27th, till uh, March 13th at 11 p.m., then you are guaranteed to get this Memorial... No. This Robotaro King Oger uh, Robotaro gear. What? You know what I mean. <laughs> There's a lot of words. Bear with me. Okay. Um, information here. But you can reserve this until April 13th. So you only have till March 13th. So a whole month before to get to secure the Robotaro gear, the King Oji Robotaro gear. But you have till April 18th or 13th to actually reserve the dawn blaster however if you reserve it after march 13th you won't be getting the special robotaro gear so if you want this you should probably get this before you know the 13th ends i, I would say actually yeah before 11 o'clock at night on march 13th I mean, just, you know, just so you can get the Robotaro gear. I mean, you might as well get the Robotaro gear, you know, might as well. So, I want this. <laughs> I want this. I do. I really, really want this. It is 16,500 yen. Now, comparing this to the Gear Tlinger, the Memorial Gear Tlinger, this is more expensive. So... I don't know why. <laughs> um, I'm trying to imagine why it would be more expensive. Because the Memorial Gear Tlinger and this, they pretty much, I, I, I think, I don't have the Memorial Gear Tlinger and I don't remember all the details about the Memorial Gear Tlinger, but if I recall correctly, and comparing this to that, they seem like they'd be doing the same thing pretty much and they kind of come with pretty much the same things um i don't know though i i don't know either that or they're just like trying to bank on the success of don brothers which is totally possible <laughs> so um anyways uh yeah but the gear slinger was about like 13 i believe 13,000 around there so it's like a good 3,000 yet more uh the dawn blasters i should say um okay so let's see let's take a look at all the information here so it's talking about how it's 125 percent larger than the dx version you know typical stuff comes with 
uh, five Avataro gears, Damo Mataro, Monkey Brother. I like <laughs> Monkey Brother, Sour Brother, Oni Sister, Inu Brother, Dog Brother, Pheasant Brother, <laughs> and the Don Robotaro, uh, Robotaro gear. So that's interesting that it comes with that one specifically. I don't know. That's interesting. They should have just given us all five of them. Whatever. Anyways. Um, but yeah, I I don't know if they're any different. Um, completely new modeling has been performed to achieve a realistic player appearance in the show. Um, turning the gear activates the transformation. Okay, yeah. Um, it doesn't say anything. It doesn't look like it. doesn't say anything about the gears being any different. Well, let's take it. Let's keep reading. The main unit is equipped with dialogue with a dialogue button and a BGM button. Oh, oh, okay. I didn't realize that there are separate buttons. It seems like maybe. So all the actors, of course. We see. We also got Jiro, BGM. We got six songs. In addition, as an early purchase privilege, we got the Robotaro King Oger gear. Um, by loading into the main units, you can hear a special voice. So the Robotaro Gear King Oger can only be loaded with this Memorial Edition Dom Blaster. Okay, so then they have to be different. So these Avataro Gears have to be different from the DX ones. Are they bigger? No, they're not bigger. The, the slot looks like the same size. So I don't know, maybe they're just like special metallic versions and I, I just can't tell. They might be special metallic versions. Um, kind of like the 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 ones that came with Zenkai, the Zenkaiger changer, right? The the Sentai gears that came with the Memorial Gear Twinger. They're probably about they're probably gonna be like that. They're probably gonna be like hard. Um, feel like actual gears. So that's good. So probably don't use these gears with your DX. Dawn Blaster, because you don't want to ruin him. Um, yeah, so the Avatar Gears that come with this, this product is not guaranteed, guaranteed to work with the DX Dawn Blaster and any of the other DX toys, pretty much. And also, the DX Omikoshi Phoenix cannot be attached to this product, because I would imagine that this product, blah, 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 this product is too big. The only other Memorial Edition items I have for Sentai are the Gokaiger changers. So like the Mobirates and the Gokai Cellular. Check out all those videos if you haven't already. Um, so those are the only ones I have. I don't have any of the ones since like Lupat, right? So there's like Loop and Ranger versus Power Ranger. We had the Ryu Sulkin from Ryu Soldier. We've had like, you know, all the other ones. Kita Mage Changer, Gear Tlinger. Don't have any of those, but this, this one has piqued my interest because I love Dawn Brothers. I still need to catch up with the show, so no spoilers in the comments, please. But I do love Dawn Brothers. I love the Dawn Blaster. The Dawn Blaster is absolutely phenomenal. Um, and I, it's just it's just cool. It just looks cool. I really like the look of this. I, I really like how sleek it looks. Um, I did talk about all that stuff in like when I first unboxed the DX um dawn blaster and it just it just feels nice in your hands it's sleek and just having a bigger version a more show accurate version of this item would be absolutely phenomenal the only thing is that it's expensive <laughs> and i just not that long ago pre-ordered the um what's it called the dawn zenkai blade the one that's going to be Show the, the the one that comes with the DVD, the Zenkaiger versus or the Don Brothers versus Zenkaiger DVD. I just pre-ordered that set, and that was already pricey. So I'm like, mm, do I do it? But uh, let me know in the comments if you're gonna be getting this or any of the other products that I talked about in this video. Thank you all so much, everyone, for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't follow us on our social media streets below. We also have a Discord. So flex your toys collectibles, all that good stuff, and we'll see you all next time.